Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Outlast. So I know I am posting this video very late and I'm just adding the voice over here. And today I'm gonna make a cactus painting and I'm gonna use a whole bunch of uh, brighter colors. And today I'm using this 8 by 10 size of this canvas and I'm also using acrylic paint. So mostly I'm gonna use like, you know, white, yellow, green, um, blue and this is the brush i'm using i'm only gonna be using this one brush for now and what i like to do is i'm gonna draw the outline of the cactus i wanna add here so basically i just am drawing the outline and for this i'm only using this yellow just in case if if i don't like the shape of this cactus i can always you know make another line because yellow is the very easiest uh, color if you want to like hide it if you don't like anything so use any lighter colors if you are painting something like this or maybe you know anything to be honest um so if you don't want to use a pencil you can always just use a use a brush and a thin paint uh thin brush i'm sorry okay so here i'm all done outlining now i'm gonna fill the uh, cactus with the different colors using different colors so first color i want to make is like a you know slightly little mint shade and for that i'm just using this grass green color and titanium white and mix both together and see how dark how light you want to make it and i also add a little bit of yellow not too much and uh, yeah all i'm gonna do is just fill everything inside something like this easy right So I didn't clean my brush but now I'm just gonna take a, just a plain green here and I'm gonna add a whole bunch of lines like you know three or four lines like that starting from top and coming down like that and I'm just gonna clean my brush and try to take that lighter color because I feel like I applied too much here too many lines I mean so I'm just going to go over with the lighter color on top to you know just make it slightly lighter because you know what I'm gonna add a whole bunch of lines here using all different colors so I'm trying not to add too uh, sharp line for now and now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing again with other cactus
so here next one i'm gonna use slightly um more kind of a yellowish green type of color i am not sure what the name of this color but uh, basically what i did is mix the green and the white and more yellow to get this color so as i'm painting this i like to you know layer them with more and more colors so here i'm just gonna take some more green and i'm just doing the i'm going over the outline to make the outline more darker so yeah something like this and uh, so many of you are asking if i wash my brush when i change the color or not so uh, yes i do if uh, yes i clean my brush if i'm using different colors but let's say for this one for this cactus i didn't clean my brush because uh, it's almost a shade same shade and uh, if i'm using a darker color um, then i don't really clean my brush but if i'm using a darker color right now and if i'm changing it to lighter then i clean my brush So the next color I'm gonna use is a kind of a little brighter. It doesn't look that bright here, but when I when you see the real painting, it does. So it's it's just a, like a light blue color here. It's not too light, not too dark, but uh, yeah, it just says uh, sky blue here. And then same thing after I'm done covering the whole uh, cactus with that color, I'm gonna add a little darker blue on mostly the outline area and add those lines in the middle. And you know what, I was keep adding this uh, more and more white on this bigger blue cactus area because I just want to keep making more and more lighter here. So yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, uh, this is your painting. You can make it darker, lighter, or you know what, you don't have to use the blue color. You can definitely use all different kind of green shade if you like. So that's the best part about this is you don't have to follow me completely you can just you know just get more inspired by the by by you know the outline i guess the picture but you can use your own colors like here i'm using like a you know a little purple shade a purple color like you know i started with the green but i changed my mind and add some purple here because i don't know i don't know if there is any purple cactus or not but i wanted to so yeah
So when I thought of painting this kind of a painting, I thought I will use a darker color, so maybe black on the background, but then um, for some reason I decided just now that I maybe can try using gray color. So here I'm using gray color. If you don't have gray color, you just have to mix the black and more white. Less black, more white, and you're gonna get this color. And I'm just gonna fast forward this part because this took me forever to, you know, complete the whole thing. So that's why I'm just gonna going around my cactus, filling all the white area with the gray color. And then I grab a little black and kind of adding this kind of a dashes on the edges of my canvas. And then uh, I'm just gonna clean my brush because I don't want to apply too much black on the on the middle here. So that's why I clean my brush, make sure it's nice and dry, and then going over that black area and kind of spreading and blending it with the gray like that just going up and down left and right um just like this so do you see the difference now i mean i can see the nice um the the canvas i mean i don't even know how to explain you but uh, after i add this black it looks so much nicer so much better than just using you know one color in the background sometimes so i'm gonna do that for all the sides i have here So when I paint something, I don't like to, you know, see a lot of brush strokes on my painting. So after I'm done with the whole background, I, I kind of like to go very quickly and add like a one nice big brush strokes. So that really smooth out all of my brush strokes, brush strokes, I mean. So um, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's my, I don't want to say style, but you know. If you see all my painting, um, I try not to keep those brush strokes, but you know, sometimes that looks good too. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some flowers, and for that, I'm using this um, kind of a rose red color and uh, just adding this kind of a little shape. So I'm just adding one line in the middle and then one line on both sides. So, yeah.
Okay, so now we're gonna start with the heart part. No, not really. I'm just joking. This is the easiest part. Okay, so I grab a little black and now I'm just um, placing this uh, little dot. You can see like dot or two dot together on, uh, on this cactus. So something like this, I'm just uh, leaving a little space between these dots and uh, adding these kind of dots on my blue cactus here. And I'm also doing the same thing on my purple one here. So uh, remember I said I want to use a lot of colors here and make them look, uh, you know, something that is not real. I, I mean, so uh, what I'm doing here now is taking a white color and I'm using my smallest brush here and I'm just adding this kind of a, like, you know, two or three lines coming from that black dot. So basically the black dot is kind of a shadow, you can say, of this... Um, of this white line that I'm adding. Okay, so here I'm all done with those uh, blue and purple one and I love those. Okay, so now I am gonna use black and white mostly for this green cactus. So I'm just kind of adding these kind of lines, I mean dot on those uh, lines. And now I'm just using this white and adding dots mostly on the on the edges and also some on the middle. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I'm also going to add some uh, in the middle too. So I almost try to fill all the space on that cactus and add more white lines there, white dots there. And then I feel like I think this is too much. So what I did is I just cleaned my brush and then um, 
go over that black dots and kind of you know add that kind of line so you can see the dots lines everything together but it's almost like you know blend it all together um nothing is looking perfect here and that's what i was going for <laughs> okay so um for the next one uh for the next cactus i am gonna do the same thing okay so for this green cactus i'm just using dark green and adding this kind of a line just like we did with the blue and the purple one on the bottom but for this one since it's a bigger cactus i'm adding bigger lines okay and then now what i'm gonna do is grab a little black and going on the on the right side of the cactus and adding this kind of uh, lines so again it's almost like a shadow um so yeah i'm just adding a line mostly on the right side and i'm gonna add white on the left side on the mostly top area okay so here how i'm gonna add those white line i was talking about so again mostly on the top left top area okay so now here i'm all done with this painting but i thought something is empty so i started adding some birds yes yeah i i had some birds here um 
it's just a very simple shape it's almost like a, you know a v shape there and uh, i also add some you know white and black dots something like this just so that i can fill those areas i just feel like those it those edges and some area looking more empty so i just add some dots and they that really fills the whole thing and i love those dots you know sometimes these little dots makes a whole different uh, painting so yeah and i also add some white and black grass on the bottom so i'm adding this grass by just you know adding this kind of a brush stroke so starting from bottom and bringing up so I add so many grass there, so many. I'm all done and now I thought I am done, but when i make a nice painting um so i really like to sell that on my etsy shop or you know on my uh, art fair if i do any so um i also like to finish the edges too so that's what i'm gonna do next so normally when i paint i like to keep the edges wide if i paint uh, by mistakenly on that area i always go back clean that area or maybe you know Add more white there but for this painting since i use black on the edges i thought of let's start uh, using black i think so i started using black and um, i also what i did is bring that black a little bit more inside so you know it's not perfect if some of the brush strokes are going up some of them are going down and i really like i really like that kind of look so as you can see here I'm adding some lines going up, some lines going down. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, this is how I feel like, you know, all the, I cover all the four edges by doing that. And I also do, did the same thing on the bottom where the grass area is and uh, since it's a grass I add some little longer brush strokes so what I have on my brush like you know I don't have too much of paint there uh, it's almost like a dry brush but I know it seems like I have a lot of paint on my brush but I don't so I am just kind of brushing it but uh, using very uh, very light paint on my brush like I barely have anything there so I know some of you like to paint with me but I'm so sorry guys if you feel like I am uh, I fast forward this video um, but I I didn't have enough space so um, I have to make a short video so I this painting really took me about like you know an hour and a half to paint but um, not hour and a half but at least like an hour but uh, i thought of you know let's make this slightly little smaller so when you are working on let's say on the background and i'm done you can pause the video and then uh, just start again whenever you are done so that you know you can also paint that way with me if you like but i'm trying not to skip anything here so that you know you can also paint so yeah here i'm all done with this painting but i feel like i i go over those white dots and i kind of remove that so i'm good i'm just going back and adding a dot one more time on top of that but yeah here i'm all done with this painting uh and thank you guys for uh supporting my youtube channel and watching my uh, videos and also painting with me that's a lot of fun right so uh yeah really really big thank you for that and uh
keep watching more videos and if you have any question about anything just leave the comment on the on the comment section and i will get back to you but uh, don't forget to give a big big thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel so yeah thank you guys for waiting so long for this video and uh, i will see you next time for another painting or maybe a diy all right take care bye